subject body email to subject body they're very short little emails but you can make them longer it's really you've got all sorts of different options you can do and when you use the ad hoc session it's basically you type whatever Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about setting up your Clever AI Copy account. Clever AI Copy is a website that lets you do all sorts of things for copywriting, for marketing, funnels, even stories and things like that. We're going to show you a little bit of that but today we're going to talk about setting up your account. Let's get to uh, uh, well <laughs> after this. So the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, this is exciting. You got a clever AI invite or you have got it set up as a free bonus to the Active Group Users demo and you have an account and you can use it but let's talk about setting it up before we do that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis470.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and showing you what I'm talking about right here so let's just go right to it let's talk about what is Clever AI and uh basically clever ai is a website that lets you create content lets you create um i mean it lets you have conversations even with a chatbot it, it lets you generate images with simple text description it lets you write entire blog posts specifically on the topics and number of sections create course titles descriptions and lesson topic headers create funnel headers subheaders create emails to send your breath calls create letters based on who it's for and even there's it's not in here but there's even a story component so if you have received an account you'll either have an email like this which will say welcome to clever AI copy which you this is the email you would get if you created the account using um, uh, the bonus here let's just go to active group users slash bonus or offer it actually it is so this is an offer that you have you can get this free clever AI copy account by just taking advantage of this particular offer that is going on right now uh, so still four days left but basically this gives you a free click eCourse account it gives you the active group users software for over a year clever AI copy for a year click eCourse for a year plus this bonus here and um, right now it's just 197 so if you were to click on this and buy that uh, either the three pay or the or the or this you'll automatically get a one year of clever AI copy you'll get an email like this so you would just click on this link right here and that will activate your account and it will give you the welcome page right so check out the copy AI tool it gives you a couple of different things right here but the thing is that as you use it let's just go ahead and use it so if I click on here it takes me to the actual clever AI copy uh, plat, uh, settings uh, not settings but the tool itself the platform itself where you can do all these different things you can create an image you can have an ad hoc sessions you can create a story a social post you can do quotes you can do blog posts you can do a course copy you can do a funnel copy you can do emails you can do a letter creator and then there's options right for uh, some uh, type the tone and the grade level and things like that so if I want to say for example I want to create a story I can say write me a story the story is about um, uh, gymnastics and there's uh, there's Alyssa and Savannah that are sisters but anyways we'd say friends moral is if you keep trying you will accomplish your goals all right so that's kind of what I just click on this and then basically goes and creates a story for me that I can you know read to my kids or whatever um, it also does other things like I said see there's a story right here and it's really kind of cool it writes up the story you can also say I want to create uh, give me quotes I want quotes for example I want motivational quotes and I want it to be about online marketing 
and I want let's say five right so you click on this it'll create quotes for you that have to do with um this these quotes right it'll give you the quotes that you can then use to copy to your you can use this to post right um you can do other things like for example let's say I want to create an email sequence I can say overall topic how to use um well I guess let's how to use uh, personal branding for online marketing on Facebook right so then I want to have five emails and then you just click on this and it'll generate you five emails on that topic that you can send to your list it's pretty pretty amazing what you can do with this uh this software so you got an account let's set up your account now the thing is that you're going to want to tell other people about this because if they decide to pay for it as you can see right here we got email subject body email to subject body they're very short little emails but you can make them longer it's really you've got all sorts of different options you can do and when you use the ad hoc session it's basically you type whatever you want it's kind of like the clever um chat gpt right where you can type whatever you want uh, but you know if you want to do an image um you could say i want an image with uh, let's say i want uh, um cat or let's say unicorn unicorn in a dark forest being uh, being so helping um a child so I don't know what that'll do but let's just take one image submit and then that'll give me an image uh 256 by 256 because that's what I chose but it'll generate an image for me and that's then you can take this image right and you can save image and copy the image url whatever and you can use it in your own post or you know whatever you want to do right it's an ai tool so that's that's what clever okay now let's talk about setting up your account yeah so setting up your account is really that's it's as simple as doing setting up your password setting up your profile picture cover and bio and social links and affiliate commission now let's talk about why you would want to set up your account so say for example let's let me log out from here I'm going to log out and basically if somebody comes to clever ai copy website so i don't know if i have the link here clever ai if, uh bonus i don't know what that bonus is let's see what the bonus is uh i haven't tried that in a while so maybe so bonus clever ai copy.com what is that something i think i put together a while ago i don't know if that's still active basically clever ai copy free night oh it's a free 90 day to clever ai so yes you go ahead you can do that you can go there set that up click for free 90 day account you can actually get a free account 90 days instead of just the 14 day free trial but even then if you if this is not there yet you can't you can't go to clever ai and register it'll actually tell you that it's only open by invite so then what you would do is you click on the profiles page to see if you know anybody that can send you an invite right but you're not going to be on that list because you haven't set up your account so you want to set up your account so that you show up here in the public profiles so that people can actually message you or find you on Facebook and ask for an invite and that kind of stuff right so the way it works is if I if I go back to this account um if I go back here let's see if that it should just log me back in so there you go so I'm back on here so now I want to set up my account so that I show up in this list of public profiles right so let's close all these other tabs so I don't get confused let's close this close this and let's get that link out of there for now all right so clever AI copy you want to be in the list of people that can send invites right because you can go in here and you can just send an invite you go to invites right here and you can just go ahead and send an invite to an email you just put an email here my friend at gmail.com and then you would click on send new invite now I'm not going to do that right now because this is a fake but let's just say I'd say js at success js that's an old email so if I do that I send a new invite that is going to send an invite to that person and you have up to 10 invites you can send and if you send out 10 invites then 
you're out of invites unless you cancel the invite or they actually activate their account so you can send 5,000 invites as long as they're activated accounts or you cancel them but you don't want to send invites to people who don't know you're going to send it to them because that's considered spam mm -hmm. so just make sure you keep that in mind so now I've sent an invite I can cancel this invite if I if I decide against it or this person says they don't want it you can cancel it so that you can send another invite right you have 10 active invites uh, you're allowed 10 you can have up to 10 active so that's the invite but the thing is what about people that come to the site and they click on this 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 public profile and it, they only see somebody else why would you care about them being your invite that's because if they decide to get an account and start paying monthly fees for the advanced accounts there's uh, the free account lets you do certain things but then if you want to really use the tool a lot you're going to want to pay because well it does cost us something to actually do this this stuff that we use a we actually use chat gpt you, you uh, api to generate the results so we are paying for that so that's why we have to charge if you're using it a lot right but it's okay if you want to use it a little bit that's why there's a free account too but if they start paying you want commissions on that right you want commissions don't you well i know i know i would so this is why you want to set up your account all right so now let's just uh go back here let's go to set up the account the first thing you want to do is you want to change your password so i go in here under security password and you want to change your password and uh, to um to the new to a to a valid password right so uh if you look at this link yeah so then in here if you're not sure what your password is you'll have to reset it and that can be done when you're logging out if I log out here whoops log out if I log out here doo -doo -doo, where's it's gonna load reload here if I log out and I try to log in and I don't remember my password I know my email right my email is this email here let's just copy this email but I don't know my password let's say I forgot my password right I would just click on uh, forgot password put the email in here and then send reset link so that will send a link reset to this to the email and you'll be able to just click that link to reset your password I go back to my inbox here I should see this invitation just that's the other one slow this up password reset link come on load load google gmail let's go let's go let's go okay so password reset on clever ai you'll get an email like that which will say password reset on clever ai and then you'll just click on this link right here to reset your password so I click on that you're going to notice it's going to log me in and take me to the password reset page and or actually ask me for a new password so I'm going to put your new password is hidden here change password now so this will reset the password for you but you if you want to set your own password you got to click on this <clears throat> because you might want to use this this new password right you can just click on the reveal button so then over here I would set the new password that I want and I would just click on save so now when I log in I'll just no that's not the right user save that now if I log out again and I log in again I will see this uh this new password hold on let's just log in I try to log in <coughs> I can use the new password now and I can log in and there we go so now now my password is set so that's the first thing you want to do is change your password <coughs> and that's the process if you forgot your password you can use that process as well so the next thing we want to do is we want to talk about setting up your profile picture your cover and your bio so the way you do that is once you're logged in you go here and you go to um so I don't know what that is I got to fix that bug but you go to about bio and cover right here and there we go so now uh we just can click on this update button right here I'm going to go and choose a file 
I'm going to go back to images right here. There we go. And I'm going to choose, let's say, <clears throat> this one right here. Or maybe this one. Let's choose this one. There we go. And I'm going to click on upload new profile picture. So that will let me change the profile picture, right? And I can change the cover photo too by just clicking on this change cover button. Again, choose a file. Let's say I want to use uh, this picture here. This let's do this picture here, <coughs> and upload new cover photo. So now I have this image, but look, it's kind of like I want it to be higher up. So we click on reposition, and you move it up like that, and there we go. And I save it, and that's what it's going to look like right now, right? so that's to set up your cover and then your bio is down here you just want to say in here um testing well i'm going to say testing my new account setup with clever ai copy obviously you want to put a bio there that will let people know what you're about because if they click on the public profiles and they want to see what you're about you want them to you know have a clue a little bit about that so i'm going to click on save and now I have the bio is set up so the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our social link because you know somebody who comes to the public profiles right um let me go more public profiles somebody comes to the public profiles they're not able to connect with you on clever ai copy they can only connect with you with whatever social links you have so if you don't have your social links there they won't be able to find you on the other platform so you what you want to do here is you want to go in your little uh profile menu here and click on social links right so when you go to social links <coughs> you will see a list it will first say that you don't have any social links right so then what you do is you click on add new social link and we have facebook so i'm going to put my facebook id right there i'm going to click on save then I'm going to add another one I can add as many as I want I'm going to Instagram as many as I have obviously right so this is Instagram I'm going to save that I'm going to add um let's say LinkedIn save that I'm going to add uh TikTok I'm going to add let's say tumblr twitter let's add twitter i'm going to add youtube which is different for me and there we go and as you can see when we're adding these right you can actually see down the bottom here let's say i have a blog site uh let's say my blog i'll just call this blog and i'm going to say my blog url right as you can see as I'm typing it down here it actually shows me what it will look like on the on the site so if I want to add say for example WordPress so wordpress.com right is again I think this is what I have for WordPress but I'll just put that like that you can see that it adds it down here it shows me the URL and I click on save so it also shows up right here what they are so these also if you want to change the order of them you can just click on these little buttons in front these little arrows to move this up right you see how YouTube is going up now let's say I want to have um I want to have LinkedIn as the first one right I move it all the way up to the top now it's the first one there so I can just save that well I don't have to do anything more. now it's saved and my social links are there if I go back to my about page you're going to see now that I have the social links the well the icons are going to show up in my in my just above my bio now you see the they're all right here there's even a little number right next to it that shows me that people clicked on it or not and so that's kind of what that is if I if I was logged in as my other account but anyways we'll just do that for now so that's that's the social links right and then you want to of course enable affiliate commissions if you want to have commissions you need to enable it you need to accept the rules and everything else so how do we do that so we go back to the profile here and then we go under the affiliate link right here affiliate and then we see the affiliate options which basically is 
down the bottom when you scroll down you're going to see what it says it's it tells you what you need to do to become an affiliate and also tells you right here that whatever's in red is stuff that you haven't done yet so we need to finish this we need to set up a username we need to make the account public so the username is here the username is going to be used in sharing links to the platform so people are going to be able to see your link or you're going to be able to share your link instead of uh so let's just say I call this cis test and I'm just going to call the uh, make the account public right here I just got to set this to yes and then I can save this after that's done the red will go away because it'll be it'll be happy with everything and everything will be done now you can see that it now says you can request to be an affiliate and then you've read the terms and rules obviously you want to read them you click on these to read them and then you click on become affiliate now so when once that's done now you're an affiliate and if I go back to the public profiles and I reload this now we're going to see both of those there because now my new account the one I just created now is going to be in the public profile so that means when somebody logs in this they're going to well not somebody logs in I mean somebody tries to get a, an invite they're going to be able to click on this and they're actually like let's say we log out here and we're logged out we're not in the platform right and we can't like I say I go to the about page which is normally what people would see right they would see the about page when they first go there they would you know be like oh I want I want to have an account on this site this is really cool how do I get an account here so then you just click on register or log in you click on register you'll be like oh no sorry only by invite so if you don't have an account you can log you you can't log in right so then what we do is you visit the profiles page which will take you to which will have your like you know say your friend is going to or even somebody you don't know they're going to come here and they're going to see your profile here as well and then they're going to be able to click on one of these to go find you so let's say I click on Facebook well it's going to take me to my Facebook page and I'm going to be able to send a message to this person now, obviously this is my own so it's not the same but if I was somebody else I would be able to see a message and whatever right and that's kind of what that's all about that's how you set up your affiliate now why would you want to have this like I said let's talk about the reason why you want to have your account set up for clever AI account. now obviously to use the account you don't need to set all this up but if you ever want to share let's say I go to uh, copy AI right here and then I can see um oh I'm not logged in haha <laughs> so I gotta log in here let's go to log in I've got this test account now when I'm logged in and I go to this page I can see the um like if I go back to say image I see the history of when the last one I did right here or I can click on start new session if I go back say to story you'll see that the story I I, rec I generated earlier is there and if I go to email that is there as well right but I can create a new one I can this one here oh oh <laughs> so let's just say how to use let's do that again I can actually say start new session and then I can paste in here the question I had how to use personal branding for online marketing make the emails uh 500 words and there we go so let's say we have say five emails right I'm going to click on that so that's the thing you can regenerate a new one and after you've done that after you've gotten your uh your session or your let's say in this case it's emails right we got our emails done right so let's just wait for it to finish here I'm just going to show you what what I'm talking about uh come on you can do it you can do it little fella it's almost it's almost done so that's basically it's working here uh we could actually go to another tab and do other things we don't have to wait here this will actually keep it'll keep working even if I go someplace else let's say I go back to plans right here uh as you can see I go to plans and the, so let's talk about that because one, one of the things I was saying earlier is it to create your to create a public account you'll be able to get commissions so this is kind of how it works right there's a free account and then there's ten dollar thirty seventy five and hundred fifty right and the difference is if somebody wants to have a you know if they they can get a free account obviously if they get a free account 
uh, you're not going to get any commission because they're not spending any money right but if they decide to get a ten dollar or thirty dollar a month account you're going to get a percentage of that commission and that's right over here so the percentage of the commission you're sharing commissions is going to be 10 25 50 or 75 depending on what your plan is if your plan is the the freelancer plan you're going to get 75 percent of that commission and the free bonus that I'm uh, giving you the 30 days bonus you're actually going to get a free cur current plan for free right we'll put the link again so if you go to bonus.cleveraicopy.com you can actually get 90 days free of the freelancer plan which means you'll get 75 percent commission if anybody else sets up an account and gets um and gets an account and actually pays for anything right so that's why you want to have a public account now how do you get people to see this if I go back to the copy AI page here and you want to tell people about this right you want to tell people I go back to say my emails you see that we have two sessions now the one that we asked earlier is this the, this is the new one where I said 500 words right I said I wanted 500 words so the body is more right if I go back to the other one I can just click on the other one here to go back to the previous session which is the one that I had the typo here the whole right <laughs> instead of how so I'm not really sure if it talks about whole anywhere but uh, maybe it figured out that I meant how I'm not sure but that's the thing with AI right it'll 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 try to figure out some things based on what you said <laughs> you know it's not always gonna know but in this case I guess it kind of did because you know crafting your message if I go back to the the new session you can see how the subjects are here right building a successful online presence using your brand on Facebook creating a unique memorial brand how to use personal branding right so it's kind of cool it gives you a sequence here that you can actually use I can actually send that to my list if I wanted right um so that's emails and that and if you want to tell people about clever AI copy so that they come and try it themselves you click on the share right here and you can actually uh send them this link right here and they're going to come to uh see and if I go to about for example I can click on the share there let's let it load up so you can kind of see what I mean you can click on the share right here and that'll send them the about page you just copy this by clicking this link this button here and then you can you know paste it in Facebook for example right I can post that paste that right here and there that's the link to clever AI copy right and it'll have my user right here see I see I test in your case it might be Bob or Frank or whatever your name is or whatever you choose to be that the way it works is that any any of these you could also just copy the links if you wanted if I go to maybe copy AI page here which is kind of like the about page of it I uh, this is basically what clever AI can do you can actually share this if you wanted to with people and you could if I take this email this link right here right and I go back let's say I paste it if I see how this says like this I can put over here oops I can put my user here cis what was it 470 was it uh, cis test okay cis test so this was my user if I send this to if I just change the dub dub right there to this that's also gonna work for a reference so that cookies people to you so that if they buy something in like six months a year five years from now you get the commission because they're cookie to you as a referral so when you go back here you can actually come in here and you can look at your referrals you can click on this to get your referrals obviously there won't be any well maybe there is I don't know when I sent that invite to that JS at success I don't know if that shows up there or not no it doesn't <laughs> it's only if that JS clicks on it if I click on this let's uh, do that let's try that invitation setup if I click on this open this in an incognito window so this would be what uh, your friend would see if you send them an invite right remember the invite you'll get an, an email like this with a register option with a key and whatever and then you just basically say it says right here you've been invited by Jean Serge to register an account accept invite now and then you can click you can either uh, can use email and password I'm going to say 
uh, it's actually going to be uh, CS470. And then let's put a and then accept invite and activate now. There we go. So now we activated this account and now I'm active. I'm on this now a new another account right here, right? And this this is a test account, obviously, but this is the new account that I accepted. I created my account and that's it. Now I can go into Clever AI and do my own stuff. This is my like I'm your friend, right? I'm your friend. I got a new invite. I got a new account. So that's why nothing, you know, obviously nothing's here yet because this is a new account. That's how it works. All you got to do is accept. Now when I go back to here and I look at my actually let's reload the referrals. So now I should have I think I hope that works I should have a referral right here let's take a look at it there's no records I guess that didn't work so I got to fix that but so if I go to my oh right referrals are not leads I don't think we have leads in here there's also a leads page which maybe I'll fix but the leads would be people that have uh, received your invitation or have received or clicked on a link that you shared with them that has to do with sh clicking the share right and so that's kind of what that is also the other thing when you click on this you can actually see what you're on right so I'm on freelancer account for 365 days because this is an accepted when I took that offer right that that bonus from click uh, ecourse not from so this one here if I go to yeah so if you go to watch this demo here which is agudemo.com if you register there after the demo you can take that offer which includes a whole year of Clever AI a whole year of Click eCourse and a whole year of uh, active group users so three three software for a ridiculous price because I'm just in the pre-release right now right but that's what you can do as well and that's uh, yeah so that's kind of what this is all about setting up your account to make sure that you show up in the public profiles right here in these profiles so that people can find you and send, ask you for an invite and also so that they will be tied to you so you get commissions if they ever decide to buy anything all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.